After months of anticipation, El Nino storms are finally rolling into California. Reservoir levels are coming up, and the Sacramento River is way up. It's measuring over 60 feet in Calusa right now, where it typically runs below 40 feet. So, obviously, there's a lot of extra water in the Sacramento River right now. And ultimately, all this extra water is going to go straight out into the ocean and be lost. If it seems like a wasted opportunity, it's because it is. Now, if Sites Reservoir existed, this water could be diverted, and it could be stored in Sites north of here through the TC and GCID canals. One of the big problems is we are not catching as much water as we could be. We have a ton of water that flows out to the delta and out into the ocean, millions of acre feet every year, um, that we're not capturing. And if we did capture that, we'd have this water to use for all those different needs throughout the state. And I think that's really the focus. If, if we're going to invest in water storage, you got to invest in something that's going to capture additional water and that's going to utilize that millions of acre feet that right now is not doing anybody any good. Having, I think, a big regulating reservoir tied to the large canals over on the west side of the Sacramento Valley really provides an opportunity to pull water off some of those west side streams during these kind of flash events and to be able to pull it right into sites and have it there, you know, obviously for that dry period in the future. And it's just a real uh, neat way to be able to store water in a real environmentally benign way and in a way that quite honestly over time can actually help the environment because that water can be there for the benefit of salmon and birds as we, we look to the future.